Things turned when we were one year, three months. He showed me who he was, and it was by cheating, if I may say. Brought another lady in the house. That's when they said, and I still think it was very insensitive of them to do that. Were you aware that he has a two-year-old in KZN? Um, so we, we get a lot of emails and messages and DMs and requests and uh, the turnaround time for you being here was impeccable. Yes. <laughs> I just want to say, you to, I, your God was on your side. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, everything was like, because I saw um, in the platforms we used to communicate how you were being communicated to and I was like, hey, boo, everything is just... <laughs> yes. Other people, it takes a month or so, yes. you know, for the yes. turnaround time. So I guess it was meant to be. And I hope that um, w with reopening with that, I hope then that the testimony that you're about to share and the education that you're about to share impacts people in a way where they understand why your story was so important. Um, your name is Lungelo. Like Lungelo. Uh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> Unique. Very unique. I must right? say. <laughs> Especially for females. Yes. Yeah. 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 It, it's usually given to males. To and, males. And females are given lungi le. Yeah. 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 Um, you have a, a lovely story to share with us, for the lack of a better word, um, that uh, there was a bit of turmoil to how you found yourself, where you found yourself. Um, but but I'll let you explain that to us. Who's Lungelo? Where's she from? And what is her rootedness? What does she believe? essentially, is why she's here on Earth. Oh, okay. Um, Ulungelo, I'm from Springs, Guatemala. Yeah, born and bred there. Was raised by Abo Kokobam. Okay. Yeah. Nkulinga na yo mama. Oh, my mommy, I lost my mom when I was six weeks old. Oh, no. Yes. So, what happened to her? Heart failure, I believe. And I think that's where the name Ulungelo came about. Mangis or Kokobam in jail. Because... She had to choose then whether she had to let me live yeah. or for her to die. Yeah. So she's like, no. Wow. Yes. So that's how my name came about. And then later on, six weeks later, she passed on. She passed on. Yes. Yes. So you stayed with your grandparents? Grandmother. Your grandmother, yeah. Grandmother, yeah. Wankulisa Well, no baba bega kona ge kota yena. She was the main yeah. anchor. Yes, yes, yes. Would you say your childhood was difficult? No. Mm -hmm. I, I'd be lying. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I would be lying. My grandma catered for everything. Mm -hmm. I went to the best schools mm -hmm. and yeah, everything was fine. Yeah. I had it easy. I had, I had it very easy. Yeah. A lot of people like you who had it easy, as you say who were privileged in a sense, who had stability and support, usually think that they have life figured out. Yeah. And they think that all the decisions they are taking, ah, one decision after another, I've got this, yes. I've got this. Um, like all of us, we seek companionship, we seek love, we seek commitment, and we give ourselves to people whom we believe, you know what, this person, I'm called to be with this person. Yeah. I'm trying to build with this person. Um, I'm trying to build a life together with this person. You fell in love. Like I did. many, many of us. Take me through the from right from the beginning of when you fell in love. Yo, <laughs> it was 15 June 2019. Yeah. I still remember the day I met my man. Wow. He was everything. Wow. Yeah, he was he was everything. I wouldn't I won't lie. Yo, that guy was everything. So we met at Funny. It was a bottle store. I went there too to buy some drinks. Kanti, he was sitting there. Ibuya go after tears. Okay. Yes. So that's when everything turned out to be until 
his time of departure. Take me through that, that love, that, that new love. What, what's going on? What are you feeling? How often are you guys talking? Just take me through because those beautiful moments, yeah, okay. I'm sure they're, they're remarkable. <laughs> okay. So we met 15 June, right? 2019. That's when our relationship started. Yeah. So, you know, it's even funny because Mang Jalaband, they don't believe me. The way we were so in love. Ung cheke gaitu. We literally moved in together after two weeks of dating. Yeah, it was that fire. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. it was, it was I, I knew right there and then. The right yeah, I, I want to be with this person. And yeah. he was very old. Very old. Okay. Yeah. How old? How much older? <laughs> Is it double my age? If not triple my age? It was, yeah, it was. That bad. Triple your age. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming double. you're in your 20s now? Yeah, I'm in my 20s now. Yeah. No, let me just say double. Double. Double my double. age, yeah. Double my age. Um, were you not scared that this person is old enough to be my dad? I didn't care. It was the love. Okay. I, I literally didn't care. Even there was a time where, you know what, Winangan, you literally have to choose. I was like, if you guys are going to make me choose, I'm going to choose him. So don't even go there. That's how much I didn't care. Two weeks in, who convinces who to move in together? It just happened. Ngai and Jing, you sleep out. Yes. Yeah, yes. just went there for a sleep out. And I never went back home. It, it just happened. <laughs> you just started collecting your clothes bit by bit. Yes, I never went back home. And nobody told anybody that what we're doing is wrong. Yes. yes no, yes. we're just going with the flow. For five years. Yeah. 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 Where, where is he staying this time when, at the beginning of the... The relationship. Oh, so, it's actually to and as I'm clamping, so he's extension two, right? Okay. So, quite him. Okay. Yes. So, he was literally five minutes away from my house. He was in the same area as well. Hmm. Yeah. Literally five minutes. How does your... Five, six months in, you've left home. What What is your grandmother saying? Like... Yeah. You're looking at It is... Being... So I'll just translate yeah. and then I'll plead with you to stick to English okay. going forward. Okay. You were going home to just visit yeah. and then come back um, because, I mean, I live with my man. Yes, yeah. yes, it was that. She used to tell me, what's really your problem? Yeah. What's making you leave home? For a moment, they even believed that, is he abusing you? Like, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, talk to yeah, us, yeah. what's happening? I was yeah. like, no, guys, I'm in love. Yeah. yeah, it was those type of things. What's happening in the relationship that's making you stay six six months in? You, you, you're you just not going back home. What, what, what is it? Detail that for us. I, I felt stability. Okay. I, felt, I felt like, wow, this is my first time this is happening. Mm -hmm. I had this thing. I don't know. I can't explain it, but it was just. It was just nice for me to wake up, um, cook for my man, make breaks, breakfast for him, run him hot water to take a bath. It was those things. It was it was so nice for me. And I felt, you know what, this is the life that I want to live. This is the life that I want. Yes. It was so fun for me. Was he a provider? Very much so. Yeah. Very Were you working at the time? No, I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't at the time. I wasn't. So all you had to do is be beautiful and take care of him. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I wasn't working. I wasn't working at the time. Yeah. Did you have was, conversations about you working or? It was a matter of he wanted to take me to school okay. to do a certain course. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was very adamant on that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I did do a course. He, um, mm -hmm. health promotion officer. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's the one that paid for it as well. Yes. And then later on did a safety course. Mm -hmm. He paid for it as well. Yes. So, yeah. He was he was that good. He was that good. Okay, that's year one, right? Yes. Year one. Year two is everything is still hunky dory. Everything is still rosy, beautiful. Yes. No issues. No. No, no issues. No issues at all. Are you not feeling like I'm young? Perhaps I'm being groomed. I don't know. I wasn't feeling anything, Lungelo. I was. I don't know. 
I loved that guy and everything was okay for me. Everything was okay. I didn't even see it as grooming or what. Everything was just nice for me. But why year two, same thing. Everything is nice. You're going to school year three. Everything is still fine. No. Things turned when we were one year, three months. Okay. Yes, one year, three months. That's when he showed me who he was. And it was by cheating, if I may say. Mm-hmm. That's when he bought, brought, sorry, brought another lady in the house. Where you were staying? Yes. Are you there or not? I wasn't there. So he was used to, I would go home probably a day, right? And then come back later on. So he used that. So called this girl to come over during the day. Okay, yes. yes, he's used to that. He will take me home and he will fetch me. But on that day, I came back on my own yeah. and he wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Yes. So that's when I walked in. To my surprise, he even left the lady alone there in the house. Mm. Yes. I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe. I asked the girl, who are you? She told me that she's whosoever. And yes, she's dating. How long are they dating? Yo, did I ask? No, I didn't ask. No, I didn't ask. But what I did is the girl then phoned my boyfriend and said, there's a lady here. She's claiming that she lives here. My boyfriend was like, she was, he was on loudspeaker. Tell her to go. Yes, that was the response. Tell her to go. How did you react when you hear that? Yo, yo, I couldn't believe it. And then that's when he came. Literally after saying that, two minutes, he was now in, inside the house. Yeah. yeah. Asking me, what am I doing here? I live here. Hmm. What do you mean? I live here. Yeah, but... Why did you come back on your own? Because I was supposed to fetch you. Mm. So now it's either you're going to go on your own or I'm going to call the police. Mm. Mind you, he was a cop as well. Or I'm going to call the cops. Yes. That's when everything turned to be sour. Yes. And you stayed. And I still stayed. Did you go home in that moment? Yeah, I did go. Did the other girl go home? I did go home. Did you go home on your own or did he take He you took home? me. He took me home. What's it's, happening in the car as you're being taken home after you've just found out here? <laughs> I was crying. I was crying and he was saying, oh, and then his phone rang. So his phone used to ring, but then the number was saved as Bafo. So he used to say, I know it's my brother. Okay, fine. So now the phone rang. It's written Bafo. He answers it now on loudspeaker. He's like, why are you calling me? Hmm. Now I knew what's okay. Ubafo is the girl in the house. So we went home. He took me home. Obviously, I was crying in the car. He told me that I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. He dropped me off at home. And I walked in and I slept. I cried the entire night. Waiting for him to see him tomorrow. Yes. And I was hoping to see him tomorrow. That's how much I loved him. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow comes? Well, tomorrow comes and... Oh, now he calls me later on around six. He was from work. He was waking six to six. Yes. So now he's calling me. He's like, come, I'm waiting for you. Come to your house. Actually, that's what he said. Come to your house. I'm waiting for you. I went. (laughs) I literally went. When we got there, he was like, no, I took the girl back to her house. But I knew it was lies. But I didn't care. I just... Wanted to see myself with him. Again. Again. Yeah. You, you didn't want this fairy tale to end. I didn't want the fairy tale to end. So we just carried on. Like nothing happened. You didn't ask who was she? What's been going on? How long it's no. been going on? He was like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. That's it. I don't want to talk about it. You say that was the beginning of the problems. The, yeah. Where I first encountered problems in our relationship was that was the first time a year and three months yeah we go on. there was 20 20 i remember 20, yeah and then the second encounter was when now he brought another girl whilst i was in the house 
2020, 2022, 6 June. Hmm. Yes, I was inside the house that day. Hey family, thank you so much for being loyal to Engineering Your Life. I know that if you're watching this, you're probably here for the second time or the third time. And please, if you're here for the second, third time, please may you kindly subscribe. Because if you subscribe, it helps us to get better conversation, get better guests, and get access to creating the best content that we can for you. So please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you continue watching this episode. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. On that day, we had an argument. We were fighting. So I packed a bag, a small bag, to go home, to sleep at home. Okay. As usual, I went home. So he didn't call me. Usually when we... Argue. Yes, he comes home, he calls me, he picks me up. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. On that day, he didn't say anything. Literally nothing. So yeah. like on... It was 7 p.m. I was like, you know what? I have to go back to my house. I miss my man. Great. I go back to the house, have my own key. Open the house. I cook. A feast. <laughs> I cook. Okay, fine. I took a bath. Called him around eight. It's like, hi, Ugubi. I was like, why are you calling me? You left. It's like, no, but now I'm back. I'm now home. It's like, no, please don't bother me. That's what he said. Don't bother me. And when I get there, I just want to sleep. Please don't bother me. It's like, ah, okay. So... I didn't sleep in the main bedroom on that day. I slept on the other room. He wo- he comes in around 10. PM. 10 p.m. Yes, 10 p.m. He sits in the bed and he's like, you know, let's take a break. Let's take a break. We're too toxic for each other. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. But you're the one that's toxic. But oh, okay. It is that, oh, okay. But I'll leave tomorrow because I can't leave now. Yes. He's like, oh, okay, no problem. Two minutes after he wears a jacket, he's like, I'm outside. I'm sitting outside with a friend. Yeah. In a car. Okay. Okay. No problem. He walks back. He walks back in. In two minutes, he's back again. Um, I have a friend that's visiting me. Like, oh, okay. And she's from Pretoria. She. Yeah. She. Like, oh, okay. I've never heard of a friend who's from Pretoria. And he's like, yeah, well, now you know. And she's going to sleep here. And it's like, oh, okay. No problem. Okay. The girl walks in. So now I'm, I'm being taken out from the room that I was in to the other one, to the main bedroom, our bedroom. Okay. He he tells me, Wuti, not don't come out. That's when I knew, Wuti, no, no, this can't be happening. Okay, the girl walks in. Okay, they enter the other room. I can hear giggles. Storm out, I push the door. How they sitting like this, he's hugging her like this. Cuddling for. Yeah. I'm in the other room. I couldn't believe my eyes. I literally couldn't beat my ass. And then that's when um, he stood up, took me to the other room. Um, Kanti, why are you doing this? See, what I'm doing, I'm doing this for us. Till this day, I don't understand what he means by that. He's like, I'm doing this for us. This is my girlfriend. Yeah, and from now on, I promise it's going to be the two of you. Ah. Yes. And you know the funny part is, I still went back. Where is she now when he's telling you that? Other room. Waiting. Sitting, yes. He was, yo, he went from one room to another. One room to another. Literally, the entire night, one room to another. Oh, what is he doing in each room? Well I, well, I didn't sleep with him. Yes. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Yes. I don't know, but I didn't sleep with him. I didn't, yeah, I didn't. So probably he'd come to you. Yeah. Finish around. There, there was a time where he came to me with the claws. Yeah, lip claws. There was a round going on there. Yeah. Then come to you to check if you're okay. <laughs> Some manipulative check. Yes. And then go back. Yes. Take a break. Look. Yes. Yes. Until the morning. 
until the morning. And in the morning, did you, you sleep in that whole night? <laughs> no ways. Yeah. No ways. <laughs> no ways. I didn't sleep. I, I didn't sleep. So the next the morning, well, at that time, he sold his car during, he didn't have a car at that time, 2022. Yes, he sold his first car. So now this girl has a car. It's now in the morning. He's like, um, can we please go to ShopRite? We're going to use the car. Now he's asking me to get inside that car. Without her? No, we're leaving her. Oh, she's staying in her new bedroom, by the yes, way. Yes, yes. In this polygamous relationship. <laughs> and you going in, yes. the, in your uh, sister girlfriend's yes. car yes. to go be... Buy breakfast. The princess treatment in her car. Yes. I said, no. No ways. I said, no ways. That's when I knew, girl, you have to pick your things and go home. So I picked my things. Pick my things. Went home for like two weeks. Are you talking in the two weeks? Or we you went, blocked him everywhere? I didn't block him. We weren't talking. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I wasn't talking to him. He was talking to me. Come back home. Usual things. Come back home. Come back to your house. But at that time, I did find someone. In that two weeks. Fast and quick. Yeah. I, I had to. I, yeah. I, I, like, I really had to do it. I found someone in that two weeks. So... But in that two weeks, after that two weeks, I went back home as well. I came back to the house. Which home? Our home. Oh, sorry. Our home. <laughs> yes. yes, I came back. Again. Where's your new man? I, I had to leave him. Oh, you left him? You didn't make him aside? Well, he knew what he was going on. <laughs> he knew he what was going on. He came aside. Yes. And then you're like, eh, eh, eh. So. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? The funniest part is, till this day... This guy still loves me, the one that I left till this day. He was younger, I'm assuming. No, no, he's probably t- 12 years older than me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, so. You went back yeah. to your home. Yeah. It's Timbi. Yes. Okay. Yes. You go back. Um... And yes, I went back. And the reason I think he forced me actually to come back home is that the girl was married. He didn't know that the girl was married. Who's married? The girl. The Pretoria girl. Well, she still is married. Yes. You are the main chick. The yeah. side chick is a married woman. Yes. My boyfriend didn't know. Turns out the car that he was driving belongs to the husband. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is 2022. When does he end this relationship with her? Or does he ever end it? Well, it did. Okay. Because he, he even changed numbers after that. He changed numbers, blocked her everywhere. I believe he said he blocked her. Yeah. But he changed numbers, changed everything. Yes. Did he ever say where they met? No. No. The process of you waiting... For him to leave her, what's going through your mind? Are, are you guys fine in the house? Are you acting normal? Is it another situation where he's like, I don't want to talk about it? I, I had to adjust. It was a matter of you're going to adjust or you're going to watch him leave again. Mm. That's how much I loved him. I had do to. Do things get better? Yeah, after, 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 after that, after that, literally after that, everything was okay, okay until he passed on. Okay. Everything was okay. No more cheating. No more showing. That is cheating. Yes. So he was hiding it now. Yeah. No that, more showing. That's okay. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> it was. You knew it's happening, but you were like, there's no, there's no. There were no, yes. I knew it was happening. So, oof, what cheating does, and when you go back is that you're like, as long as he doesn't show me anymore. Yes. That's how much of your value has been taken away in that in that experience where you don't really forgive, but you're settling for a person who says, I'm not seeing it anymore, so I'm going to pretend it's not happening. Yes. So the, the hurt is less. You know that it's there. It's lingering. You're carrying this hurt. But because you're not seeing it, you're like, it, it's not happening. Yes. Yes. 
How many more years does he stay alive before he eventually passes on? Um, it's twenty twenty four now. Okay. Two. Two more years. So he passed on in twenty twenty four. Yeah, June. Oh my gosh, that's so. Twenty fifth June. Everything is fine then. And he's been sick from twenty twenty one. Okay. But he was in and out of doctors and hospital. Yeah. Hospital, you know, from twenty twenty one. And I was still there by his side. Who's taking care of him? I you, was. Nobody else? Nobody else. but no, man, no. no, no one. Me only. Did he not have an ex-wife or children? He has children. Okay, but never married before. He had a girl that he engaged. Almost married. Fiance like Lobola. Like you almost. <laughs> yes. Lobola, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then they they broke up before I even met him. Okay, yes. So, yeah. Without disclosing um, how he was ill, I just understand the intensity of what you had to deal with. And um, what did you have to deal with while he was ill? Like, what level of care did you have to enact? Yo, there was a time where, well, it got worse this year. Now it, where I had to. There was a time where I had to bath him. Mm. He was that big. Mm. I, I, there was a time where I had to feed him. Mm. I had to drive him to work. Yeah. This year, yo, it was worse. It was worse. It was very worse. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly having to take him. Well, these other years, I had to like take him to his doctor's appointment because now he was turning blind. Yeah, he was turning blind. So I had to drive him to his... Doctor's appointments, yeah, that, that's what I had to deal with. That's what I had to deal with. Did you ever get the thought that this is too much, I should leave this? Especially this year, at the peak of his sickness. Oh, remember, it started 2021. Yeah. And he had already done the first cheating. Okay. So I did have that, Guti. Why am I still here? Mm -hmm. Why am I still even taking care of him? Because... Mm -hmm. He has done this and this. Mm -hmm. But because I loved him so much mm -hmm. dearly, I stood by him. I, I really stood by him. I want you to take me to the last month of him being alive. Um, May. What was happening on a daily basis? Okay. You know, it's funny because it's like he knew or he felt that he was leaving. Because he changed. He no longer... Usually he would come back from work, go chill out with friends, drink. But now he was... We were doing everything together in the house. He was always available in the house. He had changed. We, we were watching soapies every now and then. It was that month. It was literally that month that everything was so smooth sailing. Like literally everything. But was he, could he walk now? I mean, you're saying he stopped going to friends and everything. Yes. No, it was a, I think it was a choice. Okay. Yes, it was. A, yes, he was walking, mm -hmm. but it was a choice. He, he was sick. He was getting sicker and sicker every day. Each day he was getting sicker. So he could no longer do the other things that he used to he do. He liked doing. Yes. Yeah. So it was a matter of him staying now at home. Yes. Could you feel that he's getting sicker? And sicker? Could you... I, I could see. Yeah. I could, I could. And stress. It was, he was so stressed because he was slowly turning blind. Mm. It wasn't funny to mm. sit there in this living room, hear him say, who's that? On the TV. Yes. Who's that? Sometimes we're like, Ugh, stop it. When I, like, mm. I can't see. Mm. I can't see. Do you remember the last few days? How severe did the sickness get? And what were the conversations you guys were having? Um, it was on... Okay. It was on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Sunday was Saturday. Schools were closed. So he, he has kids. He also has twins. I think they are 12 years, if not 11 years. So I have a eight year old. Yes. So we went 
and fetched the kids to come visit us for school holidays. I was the one that was initiating everything in the house. Let's fetch the kids. We had that. We brought the kids over, back, bought some McDonald's. Everything was okay. Lungelo, things changed drastically. I can't even explain what happened because on that day, we fetched the kids. On that Monday, that's when he, he, he took a drastic turn. It is 3 a.m. in the morning, Monday. Yes, he had paint. Yeah, paint, ulcers. So I took milk because usually that's what I do for him when he has ulcers. Milk and garlic, he drank them. But still, he was crying. It was the first time I saw that big giant cry. He was crying tears, begging God to please come fetch him. Mm. Begging his mother, Mom, please come fetch me. Huh? It was that bad. So, and the kids were now on the other room sleeping. I, I didn't even know what to do at that time. Oh, I was working now. Like, like I got a job. I was working. You know, I even forgot that I was supposed to wake up at five, bath, go to work. I didn't go to work. I didn't report. I didn't do anything. Yes. So I called an ambulance on that Monday, four, around four. We took him to the nearest private hospital. We got there. They diagnosed him. I don't know if I may say or what, kidney. He was given a choice to get admitted or not. He said, no, I'm not going to get admitted. So they injected him with some things that the pain can... Subside. Yeah. Hit it. Still, I waited by him. I waited for him. Great. We went back home. So I was like, Ach, I'm feeling much better. Okay. Later on, the pain starts again. Now we are asleep. It's going to be Tuesday. He doesn't sleep again. I'm now begging him, can we please go to hospital? Can we please go to hospital? No, I'll be fine. We're going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to go to my doctor. Okay, fine. He didn't sleep. I didn't sleep as well. Mind you, I forgot that I was working. Okay, fine. So Tuesday, around 11, I drove him to the doctor. Okay. The doctor once again injected him. Shut. The pain again. Subsided. Subsided. We went back home. I, it was on a, we slept. Well, I did sleep because I couldn't take it anymore. He didn't sleep. He was busy crying next to me, but I could I was so tired. I was so drained. Now it's on a Wednesday. Okay. I didn't sleep. I remember calling my friend, asking her, please take me to hospital. I can't take this anymore. Because now, oh, it was on two. I was scared to drive now. Now we had a car. Yeah. I was scared to drive. So my friend then didn't see my my, my miss call in my message. She only responded to me around eight. And this person now is now pleading for, for his death. I'm literally listening to him, praying to God, please take me, please take me. Okay, fine. So my friend came, he, we, we drove him to another private hospital in Springs. He was walking. He was walking. Okay, fine. He signed some documents to be admitted. Again, they took blood tests, discovered it's kidney again. Okay, fine. Then they admitted him. I was like, okay, I'll come back in the visiting hours. He was fine. Okay, fine. I left. Mind you, I would go twice a day. Sometimes the visiting hours was between three and four. I'd get there at three and I would leave at eight. When the visiting hours is over at four, I would sit in the parking lot waiting for seven mm. so that I can go in. Yes. Now I'm confused. Kids now are in the house. I have to stress about the kids. I have to cook for the kids. I couldn't take it anymore. It was so much for me. Okay. So came back on that day. Everything was okay. It was on a Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, his brother came to visit. 
to visit him. We were not on good terms with the brother, I won't lie. We were not on good terms. But on that day, I knew I had to reach out to him for us to sort this thing. So I called him aside, said to him, whatever that I did wrong to you, that led us to be like this. Can you please forgive me? Oh, we then made truth then at in that day. At the hospital. At the hospital. Fine. Friday. Oh, and the daughter came. The daughter was my peer. Mm -hmm. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Peer. Yeah. Okay. She had issues with me. She had real issues with me. Yeah. Okay, fine. No problem. Still, I stood by this man's side because I loved him so much. Okay, fine. So it was on Saturday now when I went back alone. He's now on life support. I last saw him Friday night. We spoke. On that Friday, he told me that Please, when you get home, there's a file in the other room. Should I pass on, please take out that file. It's where I pay all my insurances, funeral insurances. And when I die, can my family not take anything that belongs to me? It's all yours. Those were his words. Like, why are you talking like this? Okay, fine. So he brushed it off. He kissed me. Okay, fine. I left on that Friday. Saturday, when I came back alone, he was now on life support. Apparently, he had feet and then, yeah. That was Friday. That was the last time I spoke to him. That was the last time I heard his voice on that Friday. Yes. Still, his family from KZN, they're not here. It's you alone. It's me. Now, all they do is they call in. Well, it was me, my friend, and my friend's husband. Mm -hmm. the, the husband was best friend with. So yeah. it was two, two. Yeah. It was those yeah. things. Yes. It was now us. All they could do was call. Call. You guys can hear. We're saying he's getting worse. But you don't even have the decency to come. Take your text. No. Not a flight. They uh, couldn't. Taxi. They couldn't. They only came. Train. No. They had. They have cars. Hmm. This other lady so wants. People who afford. Yes. Yeah. They only came on Monday night. Tuesday morning, he passed on. I was by him. The entire time. The entire time. I never left. I was so drained. I even forgot that I was working. I don't know if that's making sense. Hmm. I was not even aware that I was working. Mentally, you were so removed. Yeah. I, reality. I, yes. And remember, kids now. I had to take them back because I, I couldn't. I couldn't deal with it. Okay, fine. So it was on Monday. Yeah, Monday. Monday afternoon. The doctor um, had asked to see me the following day for him to give me an update. So now the family... Walks in, the one from Soweto, not the one from KZN. They come now in a group. You know, the first thing they said, why is she in control? Why is she signing documents? That's the first thing they said to me. Hmm. So I was like, I was so humble. I even said to them, I'm only signing because it was only me who was here. Who was here. So everything I had to sign because I had to give them consent to do tests, do everything. Yes. So what do you mean? So I took a step back because now they're here. And literally that's what I did. I took a step back. Okay. So now it was on. Okay. The, they also arrived late, the others from KZN. So now it's a matter of they have to sleep where I stay now with the guy. Okay, fine. No problem. They see him, they cry. He was on life support, sedated. Great. Took their bags, put them in the car. We drove. I was driving. We drove to the house. We were driving his car. We drove. Okay, fine. Now it's in the morning, Tuesday morning. I have an appointment, 7 a.m. I have to go see the doctor so that he can tell me the updates. 
um, then the, the niece, my boyfriend's niece, the one from Kazakhstan, volunteered to go with me. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, it's fine. We drove, got to the hospital. The doctor arrived, he did his rounds. And it was around 9 a.m. when he said, please come in. Me alone. Walked in. He was lying there in his bed. It was me and the doctor here. I, I could see. Literally, I, I could see. Now he had pipe. Like he was, I don't know what was happening. So the doctor said to me, this guy is deteriorating. So I was like, isn't there anything that you can do? But see, the doctor said, no, we've, we've, we've tried all we could. We, we've really tried all we could. So as he was saying that, now the niece walked in. I, I, I don't remember quite well. The niece now walked in. While she was walking in, and I'm looking at him, I could see those things. I don't know what to call them. Those things that take your BP in. Like everything was like, da, 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 da. like he was now passing on, like, and I was looking at him. So, okay, the nurses came, they took me out. I asked, what, what's happening? It's like, no, can you please drink these pills to calm you down? I, I couldn't understand what was happening. Why am I being calmed down? Is he, he's, is he dead? What's, what's happening? Okay, so the psychologist then took me to a room. Okay, I drank these two pills. And then that's when they said, he's no more. Mm-hmm. Literally, like, he's no more. I, I, I couldn't, I, I had to, like, go see for myself. Like, I had to, I literally begged them, like, can, I, can I please go, like, please come down first. I couldn't. So they took me. When I got there, I could see he was breathing. So I was like, no, but he's breathing. Like, no, it's the pipe that's inside him. He's no more. I cried. I'm I, I, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Baby, kissed him. He was no more. He was just there with his um mouth opened with this pipe inside. It was gone. It was it was gone. Yo, that day, twenty five June, twenty twenty four. That was the worst day of my life. So now we had to drive back home. So now it's full. Everyone's there. His colleagues are there. And now I'm being asked, please give us the gun. They want to take everything. He was a cop, remember? They want to take everything. Like I'm still processing. Sure. Whilst I'm giving out the guns and doing everything. Now the sister, two sisters, are now sitting in the bed, opening my wardrobes, taking out his clothes. Okay. Fine, without my consent, but it's fine. It was okay. That's when they said, and I still think it was very insensitive of them to do that. Were you aware that he has a two-year-old? In KZN? Just like that. Mm. Just like that. Yo, I put it that day. Yo, I cried. I said, no. It's here. He has. With the girl from kids at N. And we went to check the child. He sent us the... Yeah, fan and I. Yeah. The child looks like him. Yes. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I had a choice... Then, there and there. To take my things. And remove yourself from the situation. Yes. But then again, I, I stayed. stayed. Then again, I stayed. Are you acknowledged as his partner during the funeral week? <sighs> things got better. Things got better now. They were now able to talk to me. Yes. I remember even that time, even that night. Okay, that daughter was also called. She came, cried. Okay, whatever. Shut At night, she came into my room. She said, I'm quoting her words. Lungelo, I know we have issues. But I want to ensure you that everything that's here in this house, nobody's going to take it away from you. Those were 
her words. It's like, okay, we made truce then. Great. Fine, I felt, okay, welcome and okay, fine. Even the brother, the one that I made truce with, sat me in the dining room. That night, it was the two of us then, because everyone now was now sleeping. I was so transparent with them. So there was a paper where he wrote his beneficiaries for work thingies. I had a choice to hide all of that if I wanted to, if I wanted to be spiteful. But I, I gave the family everything. I made it easy for them to go, came wherever. Great. They went, he came, tamed. So now the sister and the daughter come to me in the bedroom. It's, it's in the morning. It's another day. Um, we're thinking of buying clothes for the memorial service and the funeral with a certain portion. So we've included you as well in that. It's them saying that to me. It's like, okay, thank you so much. They were so considerate. Thank you, guys. Great. Okay, that was it. His memorial service was only Wednesday, I remember. So now... Oh, now I'm driving. Oh, his car is now parked. We're not supposed to drive his car because he has passed on. So we're now using the other car's sister's cars and because they drove from KZN to here. I'm the one that's driving again. Okay, the daughter also has her car. I'm driving the sister's car. And I'm like, oh, okay. We, Sibambi saying. United. We're united. Yeah. Great. We, we went, did our nails. Everything, preparing for the memorial service. Must. But the funeral was in case it ain't. Great. After doing our nails, we went to the mall. The sister bought me clothes for the memorial service. Great. Everything was okay. We went back home. So it was after the memorial service. After the memorial service, the same day, we had to drive to case it ain't. Yeah. Yeah. I drove. She was sitting next to me. I drove. We were that okay now. We were that okay. We drove together and Asham, they treated me so well. I don't want to lie. They, they treated me so well. Okay, fine. We buried him, but then I didn't go to the graveyard. Yeah, I only went to the church. Yeah. Wire. Yeah. Okay. I didn't go. To, and they made sure that they follow current procedures. Mm. Oh, even my sister's gay. My family were there to support me. Mm. Everything was okay. Yeah, sharp. Fast forward, we now come back. It's now over. I'm told that July, they're going to do a cleansing ceremony for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's also fine. But before the cleansing ceremony, it was on the 19th July. Before the cleansing ceremony, now my friend, the person that is supposed to be my friend, the one that I told you about, remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how they exchanged numbers with the sister. Until this day, I, I don't know. So the sister now calls from KZN. Remember, now I'm back to this lonely, cold house. I have to go back home. There's no way I'm going to carry on staying here. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I still haven't gone to work. Mind you. So how am I going to pay for the rent? I, I'm even lost for words. Okay, fine. Come back. I make a decision. I'm not going to stay here. So I have to move things. Oh, it was discussed. Remember, it was told. You're going to take everything in the house. Remember, by the daughter and the brother. Yes. So now I have to take all of these things, put them somewhere safe. I have to leave. Okay, fine. So now the sister calls my friend. On that day, I was with my friend. We were in the car sitting. Last speaker. She calls. Hi. Zbani Ban. Um, I hear that Lungelo is moving. And how is she moving? Please make sure she doesn't take the furniture. Why wasn't she calling me to say that? Why did she feel the need to call my friend. What are they discussing? What relationship do they have? Exactly. Nothing. None. They never even knew each other. Mm. So what relationship has been built in this last month? Yeah. Oh, okay. So my friend now, 
pretended as if she's not with me. No, okay, I'm going to ask, but I don't know. Okay, fine. So now she comes up with this plan. Don't, uh, don't say you were with me. Don't, con don't confront her. So that I can know what she's thinking. We can be a step ahead of her. Mm -hmm. So at that time, it felt like a great idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I, but me being me, I couldn't. So now she calls me. The sister calls me now at night. Hi, Lungelo. So I got pissed off. I was like, why are you calling me? Because when you said this to my friend, like me, like, don't lie. You were on loudspeaker. That's when everything turned south on that day. She hung up, meaning she called the friend or what. Now my friend calls me. You're such a betrayer. Now she's angry. She's fighting with me. You're such a betrayer. How can you do this to me? Why are you throwing me under the bus? I'm like, I wasn't doing under the bus. She was the one that was denying that she said those things to you. And I had to say, no, you are on loudspeaker. Mm. So it was me defending you. No, but I don't need that. Our friendship ended that night, mm -hmm. that day. Mind you, I still have to go to KZN and, and go cleanse. Mm -hmm. It was a big thing. It was, it was a big thing. It was a big thing. I don't want to lie to you. So... Okay, now the daughter calls me. It was days after. Lungelo, have you moved the things? Like, yes, I just took a few things. TV, those ones. He's like, okay, I'll have, you have to stop. Because it is said by the adults, you will take everything once you've done the cleansing. Mm -hmm. The 10 days after things type of things like oh okay but i've already taken she was like okay please don't say it to, don't say anything to anyone it stays between us mm -hmm. we were still fine mm -hmm. then okay fine i never said anything now the sister calls me it was four days i think left for us to go to kzn to to do a cleansing now she calls me there's tension remember of because of what happened hi long hello um i'll need you to please Bring back the clothes that I bought you from the for the memorial service. I want to sell them. Or you're gonna have to pay me my money. Is there a thing? Hmm. Is there a thing like that? Bring back the clothes. I want to sell them. Or if you can't, pay back the money. It was one point three. I I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe it. I was like, what, what's happening? You guys came to me, but it's fine. Now I call the daughter. Your auntie is saying this. The daughter's like, oh, you know what? This one, don't mind her. It's fine. I'll pay the money. It's the daughter. Okay. Fine. We go to the cleansing together with the daughter and the twins. Okay. She's driving we, with uh, her car. Okay, we go to the cleansing. At that time, there was tension, remember, between me and the sister. So I tried by all means to avoid, to avoid her. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, it was a cleansing. They, I got cleansed. We came. We went on a Friday. We came back on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Okay, on Sunday, I think I called my manager apologizing. Luckily, he understood, like... You know what? It's fine. You can come back to work when you're ready. Okay, fine. Days went by. I went to work. I got a call from the daughter. What is this that I'm hearing? She's asking me. Okay, what are you hearing? I don't know. It was said or created or what? I said this about that one. Something like that. Really? But she was like, but knowing who auntie, I don't believe her. Those were her words. So Minana, we, we cool. We still cool. Even if you said those things, it's fine. Okay. We moved past that as well. Aibo. Now I'm getting phone calls. Now my friends are even involved. I had to involve my best friend. Say, Chumi Pella, this is happening. I understand. My friend's like, give me one of their numbers. I gave her the sister's numbers. My friend, I don't know what happened. Dick. 
turned sour as well. My friend is very harsh. Mm. Turned sour. I mean, I'm no longer involved. I, I took a step back. Cause... Are you still living in the house? No, I moved. You moved home. Are you still driving the car? Oh, no, I didn't mention the car part. The same brother that told me that I'll make sure nobody takes the car. Yeah. He's the one that took he's the one that took the car first. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So oh and the man is on now by the way, to be more feel. And he can't fix it. I don't know, and I don't care. So yeah. Now my friend is involved. Everyone is now involved. It's a lot. My family, my sisters now are involved. They, we're exchanging words. I won't lie. I even said, there was a time where I said some hurtful things to the sister because mm-hmm. I felt like I was, how could, she, how could she create such a story that I was dating my boyfriend's friend and then they found me sleeping in the house with that same boyfriend? Does it make sense? How did I even open the door mm-hmm. to let them in if I knew that I was sleeping with my, my my boyfriend's friend. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. So they were create. She was now creating things. Okay. Now. Two cops come. To the house. Colleagues. His colleagues. I, they came to give me um, money. And as they were to call it. To sympathize or what. Miguel. Miguel. Yeah. Come, they come. I'm with the friend. Now I'm skipping, sorry. It's near friend, but it's right. I'm with the friend then. They say to me, why are you not claiming anything? I was like, how am I supposed to claim? Because I'm not part of the beneficiaries. They said to me, no, there is a law. You lived with this person for five years. Mm. You are eligible to get something. Yeah. So in their ways, they were enlightening me. Yes. So the, the family is busy claiming when we're told. Yes. yes. And you do qualify to claim, by yes. the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Still, I made the daughter aware. That I'm going to claim. That two people, two cops, my boyfriend's colleagues, came, made me aware that there is a claiming thingy. I made her, I was transparent like that mm. to her. Mm. Okay, fine. So, okay, whatever happened, happened again. My friend, we, we fought. Sharp. I went to the station, police station, to get information. There. About the claiming. When I got there, I received forms written life partner application. Clearly stated. Even if you were not married, but you lived with him for a certain period, you have to. There is a portion that you must get, whatever, whatever. You, provided mm-hmm. the documents that they need, you have to like pro- qualify. Yes, yes, provide everything that's needed there. Yeah. So on that very same day, I got a call from the girl, the daughter. I heard you were by my dad's work. work. You went there to claim. Like, no, I went there to get information. Remember I told you that there are people. I was like, oh, okay. And I asked her, how would you feel if I I was to claim? You would be greedy. You would be greedy. I was like, okay, fine. I'll leave it. That's what I said to her. I'll leave it. Like, okay. So now... Remember, I took the forms and they stated, we're giving you two weeks to come back and provide us with everything so that we can send everything to the head office. Now I'm getting calls from the police station. Are you, are you, are you, are you winning? Are you, cause we have to process the claims. Now I'm stalling, stalling. It was during the, and I was back at work that time. Friday, the girl calls me. The girl is working by Bumalanga Sekunda. She calls me. Lungela, where are you? I need to meet with you. I was like, I'm at work and I'm looking off at three. I said, please send me your location. Like, she needed to see me on that day. Please send. I was like, oh, okay. I'll send you my work location when I land because I was on Joanna's back. I'll send you my, my, my work address when I get there. I was like, okay. And I didn't know what was going on. I sent her my location. You know who she came with? The aunt. 
No. The friend. Hmm. The friend. How do they know each other? Now they know each other, Pell. Now they know each other. She came... The fr- what makes it worse? The friend was driving her car. She comes, she walks, she walks towards me. She's holding a white paper. She gives me a, it's a letter of what was authority. Letter of authority. I'm here to fetch the furniture. Just like that. I'm like, what? Why? Because when are you busy with claiming? You you busy claiming. So I might as well take the furniture, and when you get the money, you'll buy the furniture for yourself. I was so hurt. That day, I was so hurt. I asked her, "What's making all of this? Is it because of the claiming?" She she's not denying it. She's still saying yes. I'm. T- she said yes. I'm taking the furniture because when are you claiming? Where do you stand now? With the family, with her. I've blocked everyone. Hmm. It it just got worse. Yeah, that. it got. Yeah, they they even took me to small claims courts. She came with a van full of police to hmm. save me small claims court papers to demand the furniture. It was that bad. Would you ever live with a man again that you're not married to? Oh uh, uh, no. No. I, I wouldn't. Do you think a life partner is a real thing? <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> you no. Talking from experience. No, no, no. It's a fallacy. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage or nothing. No. So you, I wouldn't advise. Mm-hmm. I really wouldn't advise. Especially young girls, women. Let me just say, women in general. To live with the men, especially, I I took care of this man from day one, that he started getting sick up until his last breath. Huh. Literally, literally, and nothing. I, I got nothing out of it, literally nothing. But I can't blame the family. He's the one that failed me first. Yeah. 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 Oof. In closing, do you regret anything you ever did for that man or that relationship and what happened in that process? No, I don't regret it. I, I did what I did out of love. Yes, I, I don't regret any single thing. Yes, I did what I did out of love. And I didn't look to get compensated. Because even now, I'm still not even after the claims. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, yes. Sis Lungelo, I hope you find the healing that you deserve. I mean, it's only been a few months, so I can imagine what having to be in a mourning period and still be fighting does to a person emotionally and mentally. And I hope that in your healing journey, you do find love again, a love that will serve you better, a love that has pure intentions, um, because I do believe that God will restore you. You're absolutely worthy of restoration. Um, And I hope that those who you've shared this very vulnerable story with will reflect because I can tell you for free. Somebody sitting right now, either watching us on a television, on a cell phone, and they're living with the man they're not married with. Yes. And they're thinking right now. They didn't want to think this deep, but they're thinking. And I hope without telling them what to do, because everybody has choice, your story opens their eyes. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. So thank you so much for your time. It's been a privilege. And I hope moving forward, you get complete, complete healing. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Lungelo. I hope you you. guys subscribe. I hope you guys learn. I hope you guys um, continue to learn from our episodes. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Epitome of luxury living. 
Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.